Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will be teaching you on how to add a J text field where the users type in things and yeah. Well, let's get started on how to make one of those text fields. So we type in J text fields variable JT can be different if you want new j text field and yeah we have to import a library for this and when we what we type inside of here this will determine the length horizontally of a text field so let's put 30 and once you we, yeah, once we get that done, then we ready we're ready to add that to the J panel. JP JP is the J panel and we're about to add that or we're about to add the J text field onto the J panel. So type in JT and now we get that and add J panel to J frame. Now let's run it to see what happens. Yeah, we have a text field now. We can also type stuff in here. And we can also set a default text for the J text field. And this is how you do it. Default. And once you run it, we see default. Now let's add some kind of action listener to it where you type in the words and you actually do something with the text field. So now let's do something with the JT which is the J text field. JT dot add action listener. A new action listener. We have to import the class, I mean not the class, the library. So I'm going to call it over here. We're making a little class here, the mini class. Making a new method for this. Action performed. Action event E. Inside of here, since like our goal for this program is when we press enter or when we type in on the JTEX field and we press enter, we wanted to see that word onto the J label and so we can see it next to the text field. So that's pretty neat, but before we do that, import action event. Now we did action event. And now let's make this uh, the text field and we convert it to string so JT dot or no no not JT, not JT let's make a new string variable string input equals uh, JT dot get text this right here actually converts converts the J text field into a string into a string. So it's pretty nice. Because you always need to convert it or else it won't work at all. And Java will be confused. And you gotta remember this get text because this right here actually get the text and makes it to a string and we set it equal to to this variable. Alright once we get that done then now Let's do the. Let's use the J label JL. JL dot set text. And type in input. And now we're ready. And now let's add J. Or let's add the JL onto the J panel. 
make sure you don't add the panels onto like under this method or else your program will look funny and you'll see what I'm talking about later after we get done with this so JP dot add JL and let's see what it looks like alright so now we have a text field and let's type it in and see to see if it works hi it works C laugh out loud uh -huh. it's pretty neat and let me show you what it hap what happens if I just add it on to J panel under this method hi see it doesn't do anything unless I drag the screen so it's not pretty good so that's why you always add it after or outside of this method and outside of this parentheses so yeah so now let's add buttons to this so let's type in J button object J button and the reason why we want, uh, we want buttons is because that we want our button to be like the enter button instead of pressing enter we just click on the button and and yeah it works like an enter button so J button and let me import the library for the J button and for inside of this button I just want to say enter so we can let the user know like when to enter when you're done or you can press the enter key but it's up to the users alright so now we got that done we also got to add that to the J panel JP dot add JB and now let's add action listener to this an action listener so JP or not JP JB dot add action listener and new action listener <clears throat> all right well now make a little class out of it and now we make the method action performed action event e and we basically copy and paste from here because they both have the same function when you press enter so yeah and yeah we're done so now let's run it and see now we have an enter button here so now let's type in hey and press enter and it works and it also works if you just press enter hi or just type in random letters it works either way so yeah this is how you uh, make a text field and how to make buttons to be work to to be working too. So yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next tutorial.